What is up YouTube, Janky Yu-Gi-Oh here, my name is Michael, and we have a new archetype to talk about. I'm gonna kind of speed through these, cause I am not feeling very well today, but feeling well enough to read you guys some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and what they do, so we're gonna kind of go through it, and I'm gonna give uh, brief thoughts about what each card does. I've also kind of gone over these, or I've also read over these before. And all that. So yeah. First up. Life Twin. Kizu Kill. Light. To level 2. Uh, Cybers Effect Monster. 500 tag. 0 defense. It's first effect is a hard once per turn. If it's uh, normal or special. While well, you control no other monsters. You can special summon one Alilla monster. From your hand or deck. Each time your opponent declares an attack. You gain 500. It's a good uh, card. Because it just free uh, rank 2 or rank 2 or link 2 and it doesn't restrict you from summoning anything so yeah other something anything else in the deck and all that so yeah decent not bad not bad uh, second effects pretty irrelevant next up live twin lilla level 2 dark cyber's effect monster 500 attack zero defense its first effect is a hard once per turn if this card is normal or special summon, while well, you control no other monsters, you can special summon one Kizuko from your hand or deck. Your opponent must pay 500 life points to declare an attack. Uh, it's like it's like the Kizuko, same same thing. Um, second ability not really relevant because you're just gonna link these away. Next up, but yeah, decent starter card. Both of them are. Next up, Evil Twin. Kizu kill link two fiend light effect monster 1100 attack links straight down and to the right two monsters including a Kizu kill monster you can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn if this card is special summoned and you control a little monster you can draw one card during your main phase if you control no little monsters, quick effect, you can special summon one little monster from your graveyard, but you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck for the rest of the turn, except for fiend monsters. So yeah. Uh, first effect, good. Second effect, pretty good. Uh, the downside of only summoning fiend monsters kind of sucks, but, you know, summoning a little monster and adding to your board... And you know that the other Link 2 is a little monster as well. So, depending on, you know, board state and what's going on, this card gets you a rank 4. Which is neat. It's not bad. Uh, I don't know what rank 4 is a fiend other than the uh, Nightmare Griffin card. Off the top of my head, that's the first one, that, you know, that I can think of. Anyway, not bad. Does almost everything you want. Next up, Evil Twin, Lilla. Link to Dark Fiend Effect Monster. Fiend Link. 1100 attack. Links are to the left and straight down. Materials are two monsters, including a Lilla monster. You can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is special summoned, while well, you control a... Kizuko monster, you can target one card on the field and destroy it during your main phase. If you control no Kizuko uh, monsters, quick effect, you can summon one from your graveyard, but once again, as the fiend downside. Uh, this card is also decent, uh, destroying a card on the field, and it and everything is always a good thing. This The downside is that it targets them, which isn't a huge downside. But other than that, you know, both these, uh, the first effects are both good, the second effects are both decent. Uh, both solid uh, Link Monsters for this deck. This deck seems more like a, uh, kind of, more like a splashable engine to me than a uh, full-on, like, archetype play. The good thing about these, another good thing to mention about, uh, like, these and all that, is that they are... Uh, they're cybers, and cybers have a lot of support. And I just noticed that um, they are still kind of reminds me of panty and stocking. 
Anyway, at least for the uh, these two. Next up, Evil Twins, Kids to Kill Lilia, level 8 Dark Fiend Effect Monster, 2200 attack, 2200 defense, cannot be normal set, must be special summoned from your hand or graveyard by tributing two Link Monsters. Its first effect is a hard once per turn. If this is special summoned, you can make your opponent send cards to the graveyard till they control two gains and it gains 2200 attack and defense while there is a Kizuka monster and a little monster in your graveyard. Good things about this card, it's not that hard to summon. Or it's not that hard to summon. Making two link monsters is pretty easy. It doesn't specifically say a Kizuka little monster. You always get the send effect uh, when you summon it. That's pretty good. Uh, if you draw it in your hand, you know, it is a trade in target because it can special summon itself in the graveyard. You can foolish burial. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You can foolish burial it to the graveyard as well to have access to it. Those are the those are the benefits. Uh, the downside is they get to choose what they send, and if they are if they make a big board to the point where you know you're like okay I'm gonna make them send all their stuff. There's a high chance unless you know. They're not playing a super good deck, but there's a high chance that they're going to have, like, a bunch of negates, which it's like, why would they allow you to have this in the first place? And its second effect, it doesn't really protect itself. It more or less just is a big beat stick, which I guess can be fun, but for the most part, it's not... It, I'm not very impressed with this card. Like, the sending is a good effect... But the issue is, is that, like, I don't see, I, I don't know, I guess, I guess if you're playing, like, pretty casual, even, like, casual decks can throw out a decent amount of, uh, cards onto the field. Anyway, next up, quick play spell card called Live Twin Entrance is next. It's a hard once per turn for activation. Discard one card, special summon one Kizuko or Lilo monster from your deck, but you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except evil twin monsters. So, this card is decent. The only downside is, you know, you can only summon evil twins, and that the, uh, Evil Twins and the Live Twins and all that. This whole deck are hard once per turns and all that. So you get this off like once and then that's about it. I guess this is another play starter card. That, that's more or less what this deck seems like. It, it, it That's all it does is it, like, it has the ability to like start their plays. But it doesn't really seem like it goes anywhere with them. And you know maybe I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, you can tell me in the comment section below, or you can uh, prove me wrong as well by sending me a deck profile or deck replay of this deck, you know, and show me what for and what you can do with these. Next up is the field spell, Live Twin Channel. You only use each of this card's names effects once per turn. When the monster declares an attack, you can tribute one Kizuko or Lilia monster, negate that attack. During each end phase, you can target one uh, Kizuko or Lilia monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into deck. Or if you control no monsters, you can add it to your hand instead. This card is like. This field spell kind of sucks. I'm going to be perfectly honest. You tribute a monster to negate it. The only thing you're doing is more or less. If you have those monsters out. And you're tributing them. The only thing you are essentially doing is preventing the damage, because you're still losing the monster. You're just preventing the damage at that point, more than anything. This kind of sucks. And then on top of that, you don't, you're not guaranteed to get the card back to your hand for it. It shuffles back into the deck, which I know they special summon from the deck. But I think that it would be better just to get them to your hand. 
or you just got to choose always to either shuffle it in or draw or add it back to your hand, which most people would just keep choosing to add it back, but there would be very like situations where you'd want it shuffled back in. So I think the field spell is pretty bad, honestly. I'm not very impressed with it. The quick play spell card so far is the better card out of the spell and trap support. Next up, Evil Twin Challenge, normal trap card. Activate one card with this card's name per turn. Target one little monster in your or uh, Kizuko monster in your graveyard. Special summon and immediately after this resolves, you can link summon one evil twin link monster using monsters you control. It's just a monster reborn trap card that immediately link summons. I guess it's not too bad. Like if you have multiple uh, monsters out, you know your other link monster hits the graveyard. You do this and immediately summon that one. And then you immediately link summon, and then you use their quick effect to get out the other one. Not that bad, but I, I'm not like. It's a trap card, so it's slow, but I it's for, like the I think it's for more for plays. Like, they break your board, which this deck doesn't seem like it can make a board really, but they break your board, and then at the end phase, you flip this summon out two monsters. Or someone else, yeah, like one of the main deck monsters, get it and everything. And summon out, what's it called? And then, yeah. Oh, this card, I see the plays with it. It's, this deck so far isn't just, is not impressive to me. But yeah. Evil Twin, easy game. Continuous trap card, easy. But... <laughs> Tribute, you can tribute one Kizuko monster or little monster to activate one of these effects. Uh, target one Kizuko or little monster you control gains attack equal to the tribute monster's original attack until the end of this turn. Second, when a card effect is activated that would not that would destroy a card or cards on the field, you can negate that effect. So the second effect is decent. Uh, it depends on, of course, what is happening. You know, if they are doing a mass destruction like uh, lightning storm or I guess right Gecky you can flip this up and negate it by tributing a monster you can also uh, so that's pretty decent um, I think the best way to do this since you have to tribute a monster to activate these effects I think if you want to, the best way to use this card is to stop multiple destructions uh, from happening simultaneously. Like, like I said, like Regeki, like uh, maybe Twin Twister. If you know it's like game two and they side in because this deck has a decent amount of traps by the looks of it, um, and stuff like that. You flip this up, negate, you know. All that seems decent. Uh, besides that, though, if you're, it's not worth. It doesn't seem really worth it to do it to something that's only going to destroy one card because it doesn't destroy the card that does it. So if it's a monster effect, for example, it just negates that, and you tribute it a monster anyway. Next up, Evil Twin Present. This is also the last card because this is a uh, reprint, but. Evil Twin Present, normal trap card. You can only activate one of this card's names per turn. Uh, control a Kizuko and a Lolo monster. You can activate one of the following effects. You can target one of them, the Kizuko or a Lolo monster. You control and one face a monster your opponent controls. Switch controls of those two monsters. You can target one set spell trap card your opponent controls. Shuffle it back into the deck. See, this one is like actually a good like trap for them. I think this one is like the good one. It's just yeah, this is the this is the good spell or trap card. This is like the card for the deck and that would quote unquote make it. It's just that the rest of the cards aren't very good and are not very impressive. So yeah. That is it for today. If it is your birthday today, happy birthday. If you want to send me any cool deck profile or replays, my email is in the description. Like I said, you can tell me if you, you know you like this deck, if you think it's good, if you think it's bad, in the comment section. 
I encourage you to do so. Uh, if you want to prove me wrong that this deck is bad, go ahead and send me a... Uh, you can send me a replay with my email to the email in the description, and I will, I will put it on the channel, and I will eat my words if you, you know, do these awesome combo plays and show me what for. And of course, and as always, have a wonderful day.